We round the bend on this horse-drawn carriage to flowing fields dancing in the breeze. The faint, soothing scents of lavender, a fairy tale feel. I can go work on the high tunnel? Yep. A fairy tale life for Marsha and Don Lyons. We switched from our county in Maryland had 600,000 people and our town here has 700. The Lyons have been farming the land at Sea Lion Farm since 2017, after Don spent 22 years in the Navy. I did my last tour in Annapolis, Maryland, and then we were working in sort of a rat race down there. Do they miss it? Not at all. Not a day. <laughs> not, not for a minute. Originally from New Hampshire, the couple decided it was time to head back north. We grew up just 15 minutes from Maine, the Maine border. We knew this is where we wanted to live, and I watched this house on the market for years. We grow lavender, vegetables, berries, and we have honey. Our primary crop is lavender and pumpkins. The lavender, a graceful frame for this serene view, something the volunteers at the train museum thought was a perfect end to a historical ride. We knew there were tracks there. We didn't know what to expect. It all started with their idea of doing steam and sleigh. So in February, we have horse-drawn sleighs, and they pick them up at the train and bring them to the farm, and we have food and bonfire. bonfire. And then we'll have horse wagon rides in the summer, and it's just flourished. So much of the work on this farm is about laughter, community, and peace creating it and finding it. The Lions run a program for men and women who have served our country. We work with veterans to help them get into farming, especially for PTSD reasons. Getting out with animals and getting out on the farm and relieving that stress, I know from my personal PTSD issue, it has helped enormously. And we all speak the same language, no matter whether we're Air Force, Marines, um, Navy. You can't help but sense the lions have picked the perfect place to enjoy the sweet things in life. It's been so relaxing and so nice. I would tell everybody to come to Maine, but then there'd be too many people here. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of relaxation, we follow this simple sign to the charm of a shingle-sided barn on a dirt road in Westport Island, Lulu's Barn, home of... Big Polly and Gussie and Fleecy and Will and Marty and Midnight and LL Cool Beans. Seven of these funny, curious creatures who are not camera shy roam the seaside land of Rose Bodmer. They're so lovey, they're so fluffy, they're so curious, they're so inquisitive, um, they're so calm. Those traits mixed with a pandemic convinced Bodmer to share the lovey with the community, allowing for private pen time feeding and a bit of yoga. Exhale, downward facing dog. No dogs here, just alpacas. The alpacas will just sort of mingle around you, chew on the grass, you'll hear that sound, which is kind of nice. You know, and calming all on its own. They are here to rise with the yogis, but mostly grace, providing for some unique white noise. They frequently take breaks to observe the action and often elicit some spontaneous new positions, like the bended selfie picture pose. It's really therapeutic to be out in nature under the trees and have the sun and the grass and the animals. And if you prefer yoga without the company of alpacas, Lulu's Barn also hosts regular yoga classes. And back to Sea Lion, their lavender can be found in everything from essential oils to the local ice cream. The destination train runs year-round and visits the farm on weekends.